<laughs> that's not me. Mate. The only person who's been gagging for a piss in any podcast has been me. Yeah. Flipping nightmare. No ah, No, I did have one. Um, uh, you might as well just keep it fit in, Baz. This is really We started already, mate. Just keep it in. Uh, the only one, the only one I've had to, um, not, not broadcast. I've had yeah. one, mate, and it did not get broadcast. It was me and a couple of reg blokes. Yeah. And, uh, they'd been out the night before. It was planned. Like, I come on, and they're, they're super intelligent people, mate. Good chat. Yeah. It was all planned. Uh, in fact, one of them was really nervous about coming on. Okay. And so he just turned up. Oh, they were hangover rat ass. Yeah. Mind. Hangover rat ass. Yeah. And then if, and then, so did it all yeah and then you go to listen back I was like I mate we, we did like a bottle and a half port we were on the whiskey <laughs> it was lagers only an hour and a half <laughs> so I just when you listen to it back it was, I was gutted because some good really good parts of the conversation that's it but you couldn't un- understand a fucking word and I came across as an obnoxious prick as well because you know it's like when you, you can speak yeah. completely different like, hey, yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah yeah and then um, but I thought I thought nah I, it, I said that's my fault I said yeah. but that that's that's it that's the commitment I've made it stay in and then they were both around and went nah there's no point in putting that out I went, yeah I agree <laughs> <laughs> uh, I digress mate uh, Gaz yeah. Sinita's Guild hello uh, congratulations on having what is uh, one of the earliest <clears throat> fucking logos of any <laughs> <laughs> of any veteran owned apparel on the planet very good mate no idea how I, how I did it to be honest mate uh, what did you- it wasn't like I don't know it wasn't a master plan <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I'll ask you the first question. Now. Okay, where did the hanged man? No, oh, so I should say, yeah, where we were looking at the flag. I yeah. see people. Most people listen to this; they don't watch yeah. it, right? So, your logo, as this, as I'm going to describe it, is. Uh, in fact, you describe it. Okay, it's a a version of the twelfth tarot card. So the logo looks like a tarot card um, with a piece of wood at the top, with a guy, a skeleton hanging. Um, upside down, holding a, a heart, it's a black well, a black heart. Um, yeah, yeah. So it, it's it, it's a version of the twelve tarot card. It's just that I changed it when I drew it up. I changed it into a skeleton because skeletons are cooler than. Uh, oh, so on the card, it's a person. I think most of the cards you see. I mean, I've seen some when it's a card, if, when it's a skeleton, but most of the time, it's some dude in like medieval clothing. You know what I mean? So yeah. it just doesn't look <laughs> as like a two parallel. <laughs> on the piss. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, carry on. <laughs> yeah, carry on. Yeah, so it's it's um yeah, it just didn't look as good. And I I drew it as a skeleton, it just it looked it looked better. You drew that? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Are you I, quite the artist then, yeah? No, I just practice. I just I like with everything to do with Sinitas Guild, I haven't got a clue what I'm doing with any of it. <laughs> I literally don't. I'd, but the internet's your friend. I yeah. Google things like, I go, how do I do that? Okay, cool. And then I just have a crack at it. Yeah. Um, and that's that's how we, where we are, if that's somewhere. Why are you the hangman then? Okay, so it comes down to the sort of the things I wanted to betray about sacrifice. We're getting deep and, straight away. We're getting deep uh, straight away. It's, 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 it's straight into the deep end. Dude, it's gonna, it's gonna straight into the cold pool. Let's go. Okay, should I, should I start about what the company's about? Maybe the ethos you, of the company you, and listen, then go. That's go where you want to go to tell, to convey the message you want to convey. Okay. <clears throat> well, but the message I want to convey is that I'm not a bell end. <laughs> so we'll, 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 yeah, well, we'll see. We'll establish that for the next ninety minutes. Yeah, we'll see, mate. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Okay. So <clears throat> it's I started out. So I was at work. <clears throat> so obviously I'm ex army, ex parachute regiment. Um, I started out as the guy who sort of made t-shirts for blokes. So if you wanted a company t-shirt or you wanted like a fucking whatever t-shirt, I was the guy who went, okay, I'll fuck it, I'll do that. You know, when no one can be asked to do it. It's like, this would be great if we had this. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I was the guy who went, yeah, fuck it, okay, I'll do it. Um, And so I had a, a rough idea of how to do that sort of process. And at the time, it was just how I was feeling. So I thought, sort of felt there was a disconnect between um now i don't i don't, don't want to sort of separate the civilian world from the military world or the sort of first responder world or the service world maybe you call it that but at the time i i sort of felt that people weren't there was a disconnect there wasn't an understanding so people had quite sort of easy lives in the west i think we do anyway i think people in the west have incredibly easy lives we're not a lot of problems real problems um but they only have that because some people 
choose, and not in a fucking I'm Ali, you know, on I grade sort of way, but some people go, okay, well, I'm going to go and do the jobs that stop the shit part of the world that we all know exists from interrupting the nice part of the world. And I felt there was a, a disconnect there that they didn't, these, some people didn't really understand that these jobs are required, even though they're not very fashionable and they're not very well paid and, you know, they're alley. <coughs> but, but, you know, there's, there's some downsides to it. It's not very fashionable. So I, I felt there was a disconnect there. Um, as a result of that, um, I saw around me guys being pissed off by that and feeling a bit disheartened, feeling a bit maybe underappreciated. Now, I don't, I'm not somebody who thinks we should be getting high fives and patting on the back all the time. I don't think that at all. I, um, you choose to do the job. But I, I, want, I, I thought, if I'm feeling like this, there must be other people who feel like this. So maybe I should try and put that down into a sort of ethos of like where, where I'm coming from. And then that turned into, okay, so maybe I could put that on a T-shirt, right, I need a logo. And then I started, it sort of went from there. It's it's interesting you you uh, mentioned that feeling. Uh-huh. One of the, when I um, obviously I'm ex parish as well. Yeah. And when when I came back on R and R from mm. the on that first Afghan tour that we did in 06, yeah. when I say we, I mean three part. Um, <clears throat> uh, what I experienced, which was very different to previous tours I'd done of Iraq and mm-hmm. Northern Ireland, yeah. my experience of coming back, and there'd only been a couple of contacts at that point. Mm-hmm. I mean, a couple of them mm-hmm. at the point of me coming back in R and R, and I hadn't been involved in them either, so I hadn't mm-hmm. even been in combat then yeah, at yeah. that point in my own career. Yeah, and I came back and I h- hated, I hated every person I laid eyes on. Yeah, and um, and I have spoken about it before. Very, I'm a very black and white, logical mm-hmm. person. Yep. And I was sat there, literally, I'd been, I touched down in the UK, only been in a couple of hours. I sat in London with a, with a lady and, uh, at a bar. And my mind was, it was just looking at people. I was in, uh, she was talking to me. I thought, I, I wasn't hearing her. Mm-hmm. Um, it was just, that was white noise. And all I was looking at are people. I remember thinking it. I remember thinking, now, looking at people and thinking, how fucking dare you? Yeah. How dare you go up, shopping bags and that. Walking yeah. along the Thames, on the bar inside the Thames. Yeah. How dare you be doing that while we're out there? Com- and that's a completely irrational thought. Mm-hmm. Completely irrational. Yeah. But then you move that forward. When I came back off that whole tour, yeah. one of the struggles I had um, mentally to come to terms with, if if you want to put it that way, mm-hmm. was the lack of recognition. And mm-hmm. like you say, not that I wanted it, yeah. but it almost validates what you went through on those tours. Mm-hmm. And and it makes the transition back in easier and mm-hmm. and sort of it eliminates the disconnect between mm-hmm. you and society, which is what exactly we're talking about. Interesting. Yeah. I didn't know that about Sinita's Guild. So, sorry, go on. Yeah, I, no, I no, hijacked no. that then. No, no, not at all. It's it's it, it's when I like exactly like I've just I said there. You know, I figured people must be feeling similar to me, and you just you just sort of proved the point. Um, yeah, I know. I know what you mean. It's not like. You don't want recognition as in high fives and, you know, give me discounts, this and whatever. But it's a recognition of, of that is a necessary job. There's people that don't think it's a necessary job. I am. Um, I don't know, mate. Do you think? Yeah. I'm not, I'm not disagreeing with I'm not agreeing yeah, with yeah, yeah. I'm sort of, where I am at the moment is, I, I haven't thought about it in depth enough. Yeah. So I understand that, uh, you know, we're part of that role and you go and do it as part of the job. And I don't, yeah. reg- I don't regret anything I ever did. Yeah. I yeah, never yeah. would or anything else I ever did. Yeah. Um, Well, when you were talking this now, I think I was thinking, I was just thinking, but it literally popped in my head. So don't, <laughs> don't string me ne- next to the other hangman, mate. Yeah. It popped in my head. I wonder if if we didn't do anything, would we? Would the world? Would the world be okay if nothing went on? But then if flipping wouldn't, because the other, because people create chaos for their own good. Actually, yeah, yeah. There we go. There's always, it doesn't matter what the, the <laughs> doesn't matter who's causing it. There's always going to be. There's going to be. Yeah. I'm glad I came out <laughs> yeah, of that yeah. on the right side. Didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> that is it, Jen. But, um, the, yeah, I, my, I think there's always going to be this side of this. There's going to be the good <clears throat> side of things, and there's always going to be the shit side of things. And sometimes these people cause the shit things, and sometimes they cause the good things. And sometimes this side of people cause the shit things, mm. and sometimes cause the good things. But the reality is, you need both. They, this peaceful, lovely world, it's not a, it's not a thing. It's never been like that. It is never going to be like that. You have to have both sides. That's the balance of it. And in order for this to exist, you need people working over here to to keep this okay. 
That's just how I see it. I don't, I don't judge either side, if you know what I mean. Because um, you could be born on either side. And I think the person that you are um, decides whether what you're going to do. You know what uh, I mean? Yeah, but there's inv- you were then yes, a part. See what of I mean? It. Yeah, yeah. I'm not part, like no. That's part. Of, it's it's yeah. That's part of it. I I mean, um, another way to look at it is this. So he, you know, he's I you know I was brought up Roman Catholic, and yeah, I, I, when I got to a certain age, I thought, oh, yeah, 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 oh, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but look at this perspective then, right? Yeah. Um, How so, deep have we gone here? Eh? We've gone real deep straight away. Yeah, how many? We're only like ten minutes <laughs> in. Go Look at this perspective. So yeah. we're in the UK, yeah. and um, we, <clears throat> well, maybe believe that um, China's a threat. Mm-hmm. China are nuts. North Korea a threat. North Korea, mm-hmm. well, the bad example. North Korea, Russia a threat. Mm-hmm. Wash Russia a uh, nuts. Right? Mm-hmm. We're right. If there's a war, they're wrong. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, they're, they're wrong anyway. And there, I'm generalising. Obviously, yeah. I know. Russian people, I know some Chinese people, not yeah. loads of them, mind. <laughs> not loads of them. Um, but if you grew up in China, yeah, the Russians are crazy, mm-hmm. the UK is crazy, and they're wrong, they're wrong, and that's it. it it's like the, it's like where you where you're born. That's what religion you are. It's it, isn't that's, it? what, that's what I'm it's saying. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, okay, right, this, yeah. this is the point I'm making. If you were yeah. born in China, and so let's just say, um, yeah, you're born in China. Say we attack China. Well, it's, it's, let's say China come here. You're going to fight China off, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, because you're born here and you're protecting your little fucking yeah. pretend tribe. If we go to China... <laughs> pretend? Which, well, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Welsh. <laughs> Real. <laughs> come on. Well, unconquered, mate. I like it. <laughs> um, yeah, so... If, um, if I was born in China and somebody attacks China, I'm going to fight them off. That's... You are that sort of person. You are the person who goes, fuck it, I'm going to go and do that. It's survival. It's survival, isn't it? Yeah, you yeah. you look after yourself and the people around you. Yeah. And it doesn't matter where you're born, you're just that sort of person. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I've, I've brought that, you know, I might, I don't know if it's a, <clears throat> I don't know, popular opinion or not, but I've brought that to everything. Even the, no matter what I ever go and do, I know that the people who are coming at me are only coming at me because I'm there. And if, if the roles are reversed, I'd be coming back at them. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. I think that, for me, that makes anything a little bit easier to, not to deal with, because that sounds like I'm fucking traumatising them. I, I'm personally sort of okay. Mm. Um, but that's, I think that makes it easier for me to think about things. Um, yeah. It's two people trying to get rid of the other person and one of them is going to win. Mm. I don't you go too deep behind, when you're there, you certainly go too deep behind a deer, so. I wonder why, why, why do you reckon... Well, I was just thinking now, I'll go back to my train of thought, yeah. Mm. Um, I was thinking, wouldn't you, so the first thing I thought was, well, to get a handle on, right, to figure out who is really right and who is really wrong, okay. you'd have to, like, travel around, embed yourself in different countries, and yeah. sort of have a neutral view from birth, which is impossible. Yeah. I've got a friend who's been out spent years, X3 prior, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. who's spent years in, in China. He's over yeah. in, where is he now? He's over um Venezuela now, I think. Mm-hmm. You get hold of him. Um and be able to get that impartial view, even like be God and look down and go, whoa, 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 UK. You may mm-hmm. think you're doing it right, yeah. but you know. Why? Why don't China or Russia really have an interventionist approach to their overseas, what do you call it? The overseas um, foreign policy. Yeah, foreign policy. Why do you reckon that is? Is that because the threat that we are posing? And we could just say, if they went and said, whoa, we're going to go into Sierra Leone and sort it out, because mm-hmm. it's... Uh, uh. They just do different things, don't they? Because it's not that they're not doing things, they just don't do things in the way that we do. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. If you know what I mean. Yeah. You know, so look at what we're doing, in Af- we do in Africa. Look what China doing in Africa. What are they doing? We just buy everything up, make oh, inf- yes. infrastructure. You know what I mean? That's just how they play. They play long game. And like, I'm going to pretend for a second that I'm a foreign policy expert <laughs> for a fucking second. But the way I see it is we do things. I mean, we play those games as well, but I think they concentrate more on that side of things than, um, like, yeah, turning up and... We go over it. They go over it. They do yeah. financial and resource and all that, and we go kinetic and yeah. brass the place up and then make money rebuilding it. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, there was a. I was. Um, yeah, they do. They go mad on po- pu- purchasing all the minerals, minerals and stuff, don't they? Yeah. When I was, I did a bit of surveillance, not very much at all. I don't know if an expert, um, but we were. It was um, doing surveillance onto, uh, looking for organised crime onto power plants. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and all that stuff, because the theft of copper. Yeah. Was going through the roof. And apparently, it was the majority of it in the UK is all down to chi- Chinese organised crime, almost like kind of state sponsored. Okay. So they take the copper, just straight into rice containers, tri- strip it to China because it was you know a val- valuable commodity over there. Yeah, yeah. They don't give a fuck, mate. No, they don't give a fuck, do they? No, they don't. know. Yeah. Do not give a fuck? Um, so where were we? On the tarot card, going back to yes. City's Guild. Yeah. Is his legs crossed? Yeah, so it's like, that's that's just the way it's drawn. Weird, isn't it? Yeah, so it's just one leg's across there. Yeah, one leg's across the other. What yeah. does the tarot card symbolise? So if you read it, if you research the tarot card, it means a load of different things. But generally, um, like I'm not an expert on tarot cards either, but when I was researching it, it was generally about sacrificing yourself. So it was about saying, um, I will put myself <coughs> in front of others and... Through doing that, gain a kind of wisdom, if you know what I mean. That's what the tarot card said. Yeah. If, oh, if, if you, re, if you they research it, obviously... They all have different yeah, interpretations. And you, and you can interpret they? it. It's one of those things. You can interpret it a load of ways. Um, yeah, but it's 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 roughly that. And that's they were the aspects that I went, well, that'll do, if you know what I mean. I need a load. <laughs> well, to be honest, it took, that's, yeah. that's how it went. Well, it's, it's, it almost seems perfect now, doesn't it? Did you... Would, so did, before the apparel came along, yeah. right? So the aim was to establish a community. Yes. Right. So, wh- how? What? What? What was the first thing then? What was the first Sin Sin Eaters Guild entity? What was it? Was I it mean, a, a pa- Facebook group? Was it a what? No, no, it's patches and t-shirts. Yeah. So they, they was, it was. I wanted to give people something that they could wear and see somebody else wearing it, and not explain it too much. Like people, most people don't know what the logo means. That's that's one of the I think the selling points of the brand has been. And I've seen that is that people go, that's cool. And then ask about it. And then someone who bought the thing will go, oh, mate, yeah, it means this, if you know what I mean. So I wanted someone, <clears> something <throat> that people could wear and go, what's that? Oh, that means this. And that's like a little thing. You know, like when you walk past somebody and you know from seeing something that they're wearing or, you know, something that they say. Like I can work in a room with a reg bloke and he doesn't have to say he's in the reg. He'll say something and I'll go, right, okay. <laughs> that, you know, that yeah. sort of thing, the yeah, knowing yeah, yeah. glance. Um, and then you know you've got a shared... Mindset and ethos. I, I that's that is right. What I I thought to I'll be honest when I when I when I first came across you, I thought, yeah, yeah Ali, Ali, I'm just like another fucking another not another fucking Nepal company. But there's loads but of it's them. It's true, and it's mega. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I thought, yeah, Ali, Ali, picture. I want to get some of that shit, and I probably PM'd you, and then, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then, um, <laughs> but then I stumbled onto your website. Yeah, I think you put a post that was your first blog post. Uh-huh. Is there a black swan? Yes. Right. So I didn't know what the Sinita's Guild. Swan syndrome. It was. That's it. Swan yeah. syndrome. So I didn't know about, about the, the meaning of Sinita's Guild. Mm-hmm. So I went on there and I thought, oh, right. So Sinita's Guild is you know sacrificing itself for the good of others, mm-hmm. basically. Yeah. Um, uh, without the others really realizing what the fuck you're doing. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I, I thought, all right, that's cool. That's, that's puts a slightly different spin on what I think of Sinita's Guild now. Mm-hmm. And then I read the Swan. And I can't. You, mate, you need to re-explain Swan Syndrome to me because I read it. Well, I, I remember. I, I haven't read it for a while. Uh, well, I read. No, don't say it with but I read it and I messaged you. Yes. And I said, mate, that's fucking mega. We're, we're, um, I can't remember what the conversation was. And I put all spin in it as well. It almost, mm-hmm. it, it almost gave the the your brand yeah. depth uh-huh. because, I mean, we spoke about it yesterday on LinkedIn briefly. Mm-hmm. The whole mindfulness which is a bit of a fluffy term but all mindfulness self-awareness mm-hmm. um growth yep. growth mindset mm-hmm. uh what does michael Coates say post-traumatic growth mm-hmm. you know take f- taking the negatives of previous and then and using them as a as a growth mechanism mm-hmm. you know you learn from your mistakes is the classic yeah. it's almost a different interpretation yeah, yeah. you know learn from your hardship sort of thing yeah um so yeah, tell tell me that's where's that aspect of it come from then? Really uh, interests me. I think, um, I would say that's my experience myself. If you know what I mean, a lot of the I'd be like I sound like a dick, 
saying that a lot of the brand is sort of me and my outlook on the world because I've, you know, I've made the brand, if you know what I mean. So I've got to guide that, um, how I see it. And I think I was thinking about it on the way down. Like if I ever hired somebody to come in to do some other part of the business, I would probably hire them to run the business and I would keep going with the branding side of things because I understand where, what I'm trying to do with it, yeah. if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, so I think that's just my experiences of learning about myself and learning about the way I see the world and seeing how that relates to um, philosophies and things like that that I've looked at in the past, if you know what I mean. I try and There's lots of things that... You talk about mindfulness there. You, the first thing you said was it's a bit fluffy. The term's a bit fluffy. Yeah. The term's a bit fluffy. Exactly. Stigma attached to Exactly. It. This, is, this is one of the things. So I would say there's a lot of sort of covert thing with, with Cynic as good, if you know what I mean. There's loads of little subliminal messages that I'm trying to sort of push a little bit behind this. Like what? Because I, I think no time. <coughs> it's not subliminal, subliminal anymore. I don't know about it. Well, I know, I know, I know. I know. <laughs> well, I, I, knew things, I knew this was going to happen. I'm going to have to talk about this stuff one day. So this is, this is sort of it. Um, so I, I studied a lot of, so I, I should go back a little bit. So I, I was two para, got out for six years, did some studying, went back into one para. Okay. And during that period, um, I studied a load of religions and philosophies and stuff like that and came out with what I thought was the, just the way I saw the world. Now I sort of knew that in the first place, but I went around the houses of looking at what all these other people had said. And then thought, okay, well, that's the one that fits what I think. A little bit informed by other stuff. Um, and a lot of that is, there's a lot of Buddhism stuff in it. There's a lot of Buddhist stuff. Now, but in what? In the way you view the world? In the very, uh, way I view the world, okay. yeah. Um, and I, that's not even unique to Buddhism. There's stuff in all religions that are on those lines. <coughs> yeah. We've we gone deep again, haven't we? Um, it's interesting, mate. Well, yeah. So, like everyone else. I don't care if it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, no, interesting, yeah, yeah. mate. Interesting. That's no, cool. Okay, so <clears throat> a lot of the things that are important in those religions are the knowledge of yourself, um, awareness of, you would call it mindfulness, just a awareness of your thoughts, why you're thinking that. Um, and there's nothing fluffy about that in those, in those thought processes, if you know what I mean, in those um, philosophies. It's, I don't think being responsible for everything you do recognizing the situation you're in now is entirely because of you know how you've reacted to outside stimulus um and I sort of lost my train of thought a little bit but it's i don't, I don't think those are they're fluffy things that's knowledge of it's it's an entire it's a very solid and <clears throat> helpful thing 100 percent. you know what i mean i agree i agree with it i've rambled a little bit there. no 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 i'm on board 100%, right? Yeah. So I've got, next Tuesday, we're going to give a talk to Coventry, no, Rugby School. Mm -hmm. give, the year nines and year eights <clears> and year nines. Yes. Flipping 100 odd of them. And then the year 13s. So mm -hmm. 17, 18 year olds. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, it's supposed to be like an inspirational talk, life's lessons and all that. And I'm thinking, oh, what am I going to talk about? Yeah. And, and but so I, I think about it. Well, I'll just, I, I've learned lessons through my life. Mm -hmm. my, my life isn't necessarily amazing, but it's not. You know what I mean? Nobody says. But, but the less, but the value of it is, and of each and every single one of us is, yep. we no single one of us had the same experience ever, even mm -hmm. twins. Mm -hmm. And second to that, even if we are, did have the same experience ever, yep. our perceptions of that experience would be completely different. Yeah. So really, the experiences were different as well. Yeah. Right. So those lessons are there. So I think, okay, well, instead of focusing on bullshitting through my life, mm -hmm. which I'm gonna, I'm just gonna waffle through that bit. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do podcast style without swearing. But then what I want to come across in the end is a le life's lessons. This is what I've learned and this is, and this is in simple terms and mm -hmm. take it away. And one of those things mm -hmm. I was thinking is exactly what you're talking about there. Yeah. And it's something I've only really come to understand over the last couple of years and, mm -hmm. and be able to put it into practice regularly, but not all the time. Mm -hmm. Um, is the awareness mm -hmm. is, uh, is, is no, is, Dealing with the way you're feeling. Mm -hmm. So I'll put this into everyday terms, okay? So yeah. this isn't someone who's had a mental illness or suffers from a mental illness. It isn't someone who has any hardship. This is Joe Bloggs, right? Yeah. I'm telling you, 95% of people, no, a significant proportion of people, I hope, a significant proportion of people yeah. go through life, their mental state, and they will almost all the time be an underlying negative feeling. Uh, 
it may not be overriding the positive, mm-hmm. but there will be some level of stress, some level of anxiety. It could be really small. Some yep. level of stress, some level of anxiety, <clears> some <throat> level of an unhappiness maybe, but even just on a smaller scale. It's a stressor. And uh-huh. it's one of those things that fucking niggles you. And that's what puts you in the bad mood, right? Mm-hmm. So, you, you know, you get down, up and down, up and down. One of the things with that is, and you will know exactly what I'm talking about, because you, you know this, from the mindfulness aspect is, when you experience that, and, and in, instead of it being a background, I feel a bit anxious, a bit stressed, and that background just, you know, carrying on and having mm-hmm. a shit day, stop. Mm-hmm. What's causing it? Yeah. Is it, it it, establish what is causing it. Yeah. And if you can't establish what is causing it, which a lot of the time you can't, uh-huh. right? Especially what I found, anxiety and, and uh, stress. Yeah. Okay, I can't pinpoint what it is. It could be something really deep. Mm-hmm. But what I found is, okay, let's identify something I need to do or I haven't done or something I could do that's positive. So it might not be something I need to do that I haven't done. Yeah. It could be something that's just a positive thing. Mm-hmm. Like, fucking hell, I'm stressed out or whatever. I don't feel great. Okay, I'm going to take five minutes phone off or i'm going to do out for a 10 minute walk mm-hmm. or i'm going to um make a phone call to a mate and have a conversation yep. you know something out of the ordinary positive mm-hmm. and that a lot of the time can alleviate their initial anxiety stress uncover a layer and you can see what was really the root cause mm-hmm. but the point is if you experience you have that feeling going on stop have a think about what it is yeah. because you can normally fix it in about two minutes yeah and you feel better it's yeah and I, you know, I get animated about this because it's something I haven't really realised until the last couple of years, and the impact is fucking huge. This is it, mate. And I, I think this is one of the most important things because this is one of the few times that I feel like I'm ahead of the game because I, I sort of get into stuff when I left Two Power. So I left Two Power in 2002, and sort of 2003, 2004 is when I sort of started down this road of like looking at myself and you know just I don't know. Um, I just did a student thing and just went deep into thinking and researching and shit. I wasn't my student thing, mate. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. What kind of student are you? I didn't know it was good. Obviously. <laughs> right, exciting student, though. But yeah, was, loads of mates. I was a nerd, mate. Yeah. <laughs> go on. Anyway. Yeah. So, um... We're not going to... Listen, there's going to be... Know, there's going to be elements where we're slagging each other. I'm going to give... I'm going to have a pop at you every two minutes. It's, you're going to have to. That's you're absolutely fine. That's not a problem. That's <laughs> absolutely fine. Well, um, yeah. So, yes, so I feel like... I'm, I saw, I'm, I'm quite, not well versed, I, I feel like a dick, but I, I'm relatively experienced in doing this stuff, I've been doing it for a, a long time, I think anyway, for, what's that, fucking 15, 16 years, When like you that. say this, what do you mean, this? This, as in, well, I do. Studying and practicing yeah, so I do, mindfulness. I, I, like, well, practicing mind, mindfulness, I do, I do meditate, not all the time, you know, I don't, I'm not like a fucking... Dude who does it every day, but I used to do it a lot. During uni, I used to do it a lot. Um, and as I've got older, as time's gone on, I do it less and less. But I still, my my sort of the state I got to at the end of doing some meditation in the beginning, I was like, "Fucking, hell, that's quite cool." I'm I'm thinking like a little bit clearer, or I understand something. Understands the wrong word. Um, that it starts to become your normal state, and you oh. don't, you don't. If you know what I mean, the more it's a, it's absolutely a practice. I've not done it that much, too. Of that, it's a, absolutely a practice. It's a, and it's not like a practice you get better in such. You should just do it. What do you mean? It becomes a normal state. The so, most I've done it for repetitively every day yeah. is a couple of weeks. Yeah, so it's it's hard to talk about because you sound like you're trying to attain something and you're really not. It's not about attaining. It's just about doing it. Um, like a lot of things with the. Like the mindful enough, like headspace thing you've mentioned and things like that. It's all guided stuff. Now the way I used to, I would do it is I, I because I came from the the sort of same Buddhist side of things. I would just sit unguided, unguided. The way they do it is you just sit cross legged, and you don't have to be cross legged, but that's just a it's a nice comfortable way of doing it once you get used to it. You just sit, and that's it. You don't do anything. No, nothing. Do you um? So when in the in the in the head spit in the head space one, mm-hmm. uh, so that one it'll be it'll be focusing on most of the time a cle- at a stage it'll focus mm-hmm. on cl- clearing your mind, yeah, and then acknowledging your mind's going to wander. You can't totally. fucking, it'll wander. Then yep. just when you notice it wandering, pulling it back on, you know, and it, it's talking you through certain yeah, yeah, things yeah. to focus. Yeah. yeah. So how, so what are you doing in your head? Then it's a very similar doing- thing. It's exactly the same thing. What, you're so- just so you're doing the same thing. So I'm sitting. I'll be sitting there, 
thoughts would come in, thoughts go. Thoughts come in, thoughts go. And eventually, you'll have these periods where there wasn't any thought and you were just there. And that's fine. And then suddenly, you, you know, if you've done it for a specific amount of time, time is going, you're like, fucking hell. At first, it seems like ages, and then it doesn't seem like quite so long. So there all those things that they're asking you to do, like count your breath and things like that, are just to take you away from yourself. <clears throat> yeah. That's all they're trying to do. They get you to focus on something, but the fucking bollocks that's going round and round in your head. Um, yeah, so once you get used to it, you just, you're just sitting there, and the thought comes, and you, you just let it just go. There's no like forcing or anything like that. You might have a, a time you sit there and it's constant. You yeah. Go, okay. Yeah. Fine. I, I mean, that, that's what. Just to, again, the, you you flipping guaranteed. When mm-hmm. someone you med- mentioned the word meditation like two minutes ago, five yeah. minutes ago, they would have been going fucking wrong. Hundred percent. But 100%. Yeah, I know. Well, yeah. So I mean, <laughs> meditation can be anything, right? It's just it is what you do. It's yeah. it's practicing focusing for yeah. a period of time. When I've been like today and yesterday, I, mean, I, was, I was on the beach this morning. Uh-huh. That's proper hippie. I only did five minutes. Mm-hmm. Headspace, but, yeah, 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 up in Mersey. But when I do it. Look, you know, I did. I've only I did it yesterday five minutes today five because I know and I'm no illusion. I couldn't do like 10, 15, 20 minutes at this mm-hmm. moment. But fuck me up. I feel fucking awesome afterwards. Mm-hmm. When I say awesome, I don't mean like whoa, it's taking a world. I mean clear. Yeah. You know, um, and uh, and everything becomes a bit easier. But like mm-hmm. saying, there's there's a million different ways you can meditate. When I go in the sauna, I like to do twenty minutes in the sauna. Yeah. At a time. And um, when I go in there, and I go in there, and I'll sit there, you know, and I'll move out and get comfy as, as mm-hmm. I go. But I, because I want to do twenty minutes, which is about twelve hundred seconds, right? Mm-hmm. So my med- I meditate in the sauna. My meditation in the sauna mm-hmm. is I count to twelve hundred. I don't watch the clock. Yeah, yeah. I count to twelve hundred, and then I do, yeah, you know, and it's a seconds, one, yeah. two, and that that. The first time I did that, I thought, "Fucking no way, I'm mm-hmm. gonna get that far with it." And I sat there, and it's almost like you get into a zone, to, yeah, and your yeah. mind is totally clear. I'm counting. So yeah. I'm doing in the sauna, and it gets hard. About you know, and yeah. then uh, I think the first time I did it, I thought, "I'll just check the clock." Look, I got the nine hundred. I'll check the clock. Check. I'm counting. I was counting too slow. I did about twenty five minutes. <laughs> but no, and that again, that's yeah. that meditation. It's like um, it's sent. It's just focusing. But that's it. It's like which no one does. No one does it. It's well, it's it's being in the moment, isn't it? So, um, you know, it's it, meditation or like it didn't all really. I'm not religious, religious at all. You know what I mean? And I've got, but I've got no problem. If you want to be religious, go for it. If you don't want to be religious, that's fine. So you're not religious. I'm not religious. I don't like because I w- I wouldn't say Buddhism is a religion. You see, if you know what I mean. I know it's down as a religion, but it's, there's no god, is there? No, there's no, no god, exactly, no, 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 exactly. It's, exactly. it's a way. No, it's a way of living. There's just a, a guy, maybe once who was just there, who knew some stuff, but it doesn't even matter if he was, what was his name Buddha. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but he, he's not even important to me. But in Buddhism, he's what? He's not even important. What do you mean? Well, he's not important. It's, Buddhism, the ideas of Buddhism are, aren't necessarily related to him. Ah, if you know what I mean. Like, he's just the founder. Yeah. But it doesn't. It's it's hard to describe. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Anyway, so if you look at it, all these things like okay, so if you're praying, if you say you're a Christian, you're praying or you're chanting or something like that. Those things, that's meditation. That's what you're doing. It's oh, not yeah. there to actually give thanks or whatever to somebody. It's there to be to focus on exactly what you're doing to take you away from yourself. You're trying to do exactly the same thing. As I never thought about. That. You're well, right. That's, that's I never a, thought that. That's exactly what it is, it's, and that's what I mean. You can explain this stuff is in all religions, but there's always some bollock story behind why they're doing it because you can't tell somebody who's perhaps solid. Dude, trust me, this is fine. You know, do this. You have to tell him, right, mate. If you if you do this, then next time you come back in your fucking second life or whatever, everything will be fine. It won't be shit like it is now. You've got to give him an incentive. That's how you get these like the commoner who maybe in the old days anyway would be ignorant in the the genuine sense of the word wouldn't mm. be educated <clears throat> so you get this guy doing something to tell him you know yeah mate you'll be fine next time just do this now but the reality is he's just meditating you're trying to get him to get away from himself yeah and if they don't if they don't do their meditation they're praying they feel like shit because god doesn't love them because they didn't do it well mate yeah. muslims are great nailed seven times a day dude it's in there that's what I mean, though. All religions, good people, <laughs> bad people. That's exactly what that's in there. I, I'd never thought about that before yeah. about it being meditation. You're absolutely if, right. If you're absolutely, if you are meditating, that's <laughs> knowledge bomb. Yeah, yeah, you're putting your something else greater than you 
in front of you to drop the you. Great, greater. Oh, okay, okay. okay. In from religious sense. Whatever you yeah. want. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. It, doesn't matter, it doesn't matter what you're saying. I, you can do it on a fucking coffee cup if you want to. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? You're focused on something else that isn't you <clears throat> that drops the, the you. Have you uh, just recently got a book put onto me? An audio, well, it's, it's an audio book stroke um, meditation yeah. guide thing. Tim Bowden put it onto me. Okay. Uh, he was one of my other guests. Yeah, I see. Mindfulness by I can't remember who wrote it. Oh, who did the audio book? But it's 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 like a headspace thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, so you're on about like focusing the coffee cup. There, there's a bit in there's a bit in the in the when I was listening in the the car, and there's a bit. And he's (coughs) talking through like what you're saying, but Mm -hmm. obviously in a more structured manner Mm because they're not solid like us. Like, (laughs) (laughs) it's true, mate. It's true. (laughs) And they're saying, yeah, why you want to go through all this, and what's the benefit of it, and what you missed out. And one of the things, what's it bloody? I have to look it up. Hang on. <laughs> One of the things that he says is that bear with me. Sorry, I, I'm going to look dude. it up. I'm almost doing a disservice to him. Do you want a refill? Uh, I've got some there, Mitch. Yes. I'll have a bit of right, where are we? Where are we? Audible, 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 audible. Fuck's sake. In there, I've restructured all the apps on my phone. Right, so it's mindfulness. Mindfulness, the eight-week meditation guide, and uh-huh. it's by um, Mark Williams and Danny Penman. Okay. And it, one of the examples he gives is look, you going through your life. The average person goes through their life. They're mm-hmm. just flipping, going. They're just going through the motions. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of sense sensations you're not even realizing. And he says, uh, "Right, go and, and he says, get a peanut or, or maybe a raisin." Yeah. He says, "Go. Have you have you heard this?" No, no, no. no. <clears throat> so he goes, "Go and get a peanut or get a raisin." And I was in the car listening. He said, "If you got, so anyway, I'm listening to talk about it." And he says, "Get a raisin." He says, "No, get a raisin." He says, "No, look at the raisin." Mm-hmm. He says, no, "Examine it. No, look, properly look at it." Yeah. Notice what is on that raisin. Mm-hmm. You know, look, look at it around. Check the, the colour and texture. Yeah. Right, now hold it up to your nose. Smell it. Can you mm-hmm. smell anything? Acknowledge, even if there's no scent, mm-hmm. that there is no scent. Mm-hmm. You know, smell it there. Yeah, right, yeah. Now, and it goes through. Now put it in your mouth. Feel what it's like in your tongue. Start chewing it. Da, 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 da. Right. Uh, Realise the first time that you think about swallowing it mm-hmm. and what you thought. And then, and then before you swallow it, or when you go to swallow it, Think about, uh, notice what your tongue's doing. What is your tongue doing in your yeah, mouth yeah, before yeah. you go to swallow it? And then swallow it down, feel it going through your belly, try and feel it going through your belly, blah, 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 and what did your tongue do afterwards? And blah, yeah. blah, blah, I think about this. Goes through it all. And he says, he says, he, he says, normally you'll take a bunch of raisins in your hand, mm-hmm. chuck it in your mouth, eat them all at the same time and throw them down. Yeah. You know, uh, the point is, 95% of what you that 95 percent's come up again loads of what you do through life you're just going through the motions you're yeah. missing out off sensation you miss, yeah. that's not to say go eat your raisin you know and everything you pick up but it's, no. it's what is going on in your life that you're going through the motion and not really exp- not really taking on board what what is going on experience yeah. it you, you're fucking missing out yeah. you're missing out yeah the raisin well, so i think all you're all you're doing is is being here now mm. you know what i mean because we we live we people get fucked up because I, think I feel like I'm swearing more than you are, but um, people get like that. Oh, people, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's an achievement. I give that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The people have dramas because they are thinking about shit that they've done, <clears throat> that they're pissed off about, or they're sad about, really that they're, they're happy about, and how that affects where they are now. And, oh, isn't that terrible? I'd be somewhere else if I hadn't done these things. Or they're looking at how terrible things are now, looking to the future, going, well, if I just get all these things squared, then everything will be fine. Well, if I can get these things squared, everything will be fine. Or if only that, you never hear. You can't do anything there and you can't do anything there. You can only do something here. And that sounds like something fucking that idiot John Lennon would say. But you are, this is all you've got right now. And it's the only way you change anything. So let's explain it then. Okay. So... I'm, I'm fucking doing it. So, I mean, it does, you know, so it's, it's, again, and I'm, I'm, your preacher's converted. I understand what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Two years ago, I'd have gone, what the fuck are you on about beer now? What are you talk? what do you mean by that, you mentalist? So, I'm giving an example. Yeah. Okay. Example. Of now thinking. Well, it's just, it's being present now. I'm not thinking about anything else but what you're talking about. When you're listening, when you're, I'm listening to you when you're talking. Instead of your mind wandering. Yeah. I'm not thinking about all the bollocks I've got to do for the business. How do you do? How are you doing that? Is it so? How are you doing it? Consciously pulling yourself back on me. So something else creeps in. So well, your business must creep into your head. Things must creep in. It does every now and then. And you tell it to fuck off. Not very. Really, you don't tell it to fuck off, but I'm just aware that. Well, hang on, no, no, this is what I'm trying to do now. Yeah, so fucking. Yeah, 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 it's not. Well, yeah. Um, but then 
I'll, that might come into my head and it goes, okay, well, actually, that's more important than what I'm doing now. And I'll stop what I'm doing now. I'll go and do that. It's just, it's, it's knowing yourself. Mm. And you only do it by watching what's, what's there all the time. And it becomes natural after that. That's what I would say is when I was talking about it being a practice, you, you know, you learn to know yourself, right? I might do something. I've, I've just been a dick. Obviously, I'm a dick like everybody else is. And I go, why the fuck did I do that? Why, why? That's why I do it. I'm not necessarily judging myself. I'm just, I'm noting why I did it. I was, I was scared about that. Or I was worried about that. That's why I was a dick. Or I didn't like the way he looked at me. That's why I was a dick. It's, it's knowing yourself. And as you, when you live your life like that, it becomes more natural. And it becomes easier to do to the point where you don't notice you're doing it and you are just sort of here all the time. Like, I'm not fucking some ninja. I think about the past and the future as well. But I just, I have in this sort of, have this thing in my head that lets me know that that's sort of fairly pointless. I'm I'm trying to drift in a certain direction, maybe. Like, I'd like Sydney as good to be successful because I need to eat. And I'm trying to do that. But I know that all that stuff here is only affected by what's here now. So this is where I need to be. I, it, all this stuff sounds, it has a, it has a twang of hippie bollocks and it's not, it's dead reality. It's one of those things that you don't realize, you it's can't, been, you can't really comprehend it. Until it's it's, it's been those, stolen by, the whole thing, mate, has been stolen by fucking hippies and ruined. Yeah. Uh, the whole thing. And that's it, why blokes from our background don't do it. Fucking hippies. But it's true. It's, this is like, this is one of the things that if, if there's anything, I like was talking about trying to do things covertly with Sin and his Guild. Okay, this is one of the things. So, I, exactly like you say, if I if you'd have seen me when I first started meditating or whatever, if you'd seen me do it, you'd walk past me and go, what the fuck's this thing you're doing? And you take the piss out of me, which is fine, because we're in the regs, and that's okay. But you you potentially might, you might go, why are you doing that? Is that something for you? Like, yoga's a perfect example. So you, people are getting into yoga now because they realise that we don't look after our bodies, certainly blokes from our background, and we're all fucked and yoga, people, it's become acceptable. <clears throat> so the unit I was with, you would have like guys in dark corners doing yoga away from people because of it, there'd be a stigma behind it. Like, what the fuck are you doing that? Just get up in the morning, you know, with a hangover and smash our 10 miles. So, well, yeah, we can do that. But actually, maybe you should go and do some yoga as well because it makes it easier, mate. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's a stigma behind all the, you know, yoga, meditation, mildness, whatever you want to call it. There's a stigma behind these things because it's been stolen by fucking hippies. And I, I treat, I, I would, you know, I'm not Mr. Fucking right ring crazy guy. I'm fairly sort of lefty, centery type sort of guy. So I, I, I don't know. Bad hippies, we'll call them bad hippies. But they've ruined it. They've ruined all these things and let the people from our background, they discount all this stuff that's really helpful for them. Mm. So I've rambled a little bit, but I think that's that's yeah. where I am sort of currently. So I'm trying to to show that these things are f- guaranteed. You, If you have a crack at these things, you will feel better for them. I, I agree. And it will make you a more effective soldier. Uh, well, nothing else. Person as well. Mm. Person, professional. I, I, listen, it's yeah, one no, of the... Like I said, preaching the inverted. It's yeah. one of those. The problem is, it is. It's one of those that you, there's no words you can say that will convince someone who's never tried it that can yeah. convince them. It is. <clears throat> look, it, it, this will help you out. Yeah. Even if you're mega and you think you're mega, yeah, yeah. you're mega. Guess what? You can be megara. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. that's what it is. Yeah, and, yeah, um, yeah. I mean, uh, well, you saw a, a post I put LinkedIn yesterday, uh, and again, it's like that was. That was not long after I'd done the meditation in the morning. Yeah. And it's like, um, there is that stigma attached to it. But, and you can do it, you can fucking meditate. You can do any, I, I mean, I, I, when I do it, huh? I, I do have that in my head a bit stigma to it. So, uh, went out and did it outside yesterday. And I, dre- I you know, hoodie on, mm-hmm. my Ali, Ali Green sort of military style jacket, baseball cap, yeah, yeah. The, uh, a pair of headphones on, flipping, trainers jeans and that's because i'm out comfortable doing that and i go sit down so i look like someone sat down listening to music that's it yeah i'm sat there meditating right Mm -hmm. i got benefit all day and it carries on to the next day and it clears your mind and essentially all i did guys as i put that post all i did just to clarify Mm -hmm. how much effort meditation takes yeah yeah for five minutes I didn't do anything. Yeah. I did nothing. Yeah. I did nothing except listen, because that's obviously a guided one. Yeah. I did nothing except listen. Uh, that is it. And fucking hell. I, I, 
I get annoyed at myself because I don't. I go for months without doing it, and I think well, I do it, and then months more trying to do it, and then I start again. I go, why haven't I been doing it? Why? Mm. Why haven't I? Got, I hope yeah, yeah. I'm going to get the routine because I'm I'm working with like minded people. Yeah. I think, um, and I think it is becoming more acceptable among our sort of our sort of background. Yeah, it's you know? true. I mean, uh, do you know Ray Nash? No, I don't think so. <clears throat> he's got a he's got a business. He's he's X three power super guy, mate. Yeah. Um, he got a business called Primal Pathway. Okay, he was a super, is a super respected guy. He was a super respected soldier. He's yeah, in, yeah, yeah. Um, and he was, you know, that sort of almost, yeah, you know, just flipping hard man, mm-hmm. hard, yeah, you know, on the piss, mm-hmm. as in hard soldier, yeah. hard on the piss, super professional, stereotypical, just stereotypical, yeah, yeah? yeah. Um, he was super into his fitness as well, though. And now yeah. what he does is go out. So what I, what I love about what um Ray is doing, yeah, and some others are doing as well is. He's in this business and it is part, yeah, super athletic, super fitness stuff, mate. But also tying in, in a huge way mm-hmm. the mindfulness side of things. Mm-hmm. He, he did, I don't think he says his mindfulness, but he, he's got the two together. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm chuffed with it because of who he is and, and what his background is and the kind of, the people that look up to him as, as an amazing dude and go, yeah, you fucking rage, exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. dude. And now, and now he's making it more acceptable that's exactly it but it takes those people yeah it takes the people who have credibility mm-hmm. in their field to go well fuck you know i'm doing it you know what i mean i think that's not even an arrogant <clears throat> way like i'm sure i don't know the guy i'm sure he's not an arrogant guy no. um you know what i mean but he probably even doesn't think that people do look after him but in his circle people probably yeah you know, if you say people do people do mm. and they'll follow him because of that they it, you know it's people who are respected and have... I'm not saying for a fucking second that I'm respected in any way. I was a very average dude. But the... I don't know. The unit I came from is seen as like a little cool unit. The Reg certainly is seen as a cool unit. And there'll be people who aren't Reg who will look and go, well, if Reg Bugs are doing it, mm. maybe this is okay. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's mm-hmm. people stepping forward and going, well, I don't care what you say. This is good for people. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to do it. Yeah. That that's how I see it. I mean, I think with the cynic skilled side of things, it's not. I'm not. I, I, I'm sort of looking back at what I've just said there, and it sounds like I'm trying to push some sort of culty thing, and I'm not. I think I think the service life, putting yourself before other people, that is all tied in to the loss of yourself, loss of that sort of ego thing. If you know what I mean, it's. It Elaborate is, on it, that. Well, it, okay, so we are as a, a sort of. <clears throat> let me have a think. Let's just try to go too fucking crazy on it. Go crazy, mate. No, because it falls deep. It, it, no, because it ends up going down some bollocks road. I don't want to do that. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, no, I think put, when you do something for somebody else, it feels good, doesn't it? No matter what that is, <coughs> yeah. yeah, picking something up for somebody, holding a door open for somebody, um, you give money to charity, feels good. All these little things, for, from a selfish point of view, those things feel good, and they're good for you. I think it's good. So we're, talk- we're talking in meditation about potentially when you concentrate on these things and being in the moment. The idea of your sort of self drops, doesn't it? You're just just action. You're just doing what you're doing. So. You know, you're talking about finding ways of meditating. Um, you know, people who have little nerdy hobbies. Like, I know loads of little red blokes who like to paint those little figures and shit like that. Oh, I've got one of the lads has got a shot. Yeah, there that, you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but I guarantee when he's done it, does it, he's not thinking about anything <clears throat> else. He's just thinking about what he's doing. That's meditation. It's the same thing. He's focused on action, focused on exactly where he is and what he's doing right now. So he doesn't know he's meditating, but he is. Okay, so take that. It's the idea of getting away from this this idea of you as being separate from everything else. Like fucking hell, we're going, we're going. Stupid. Is that though? Just going back, is yeah. that example of that? Uh, I wouldn't say it's across the board because you've got to be careful here to say yeah. that folk concentrate on someone who's meditation and are not. So with with Stu, it's Stu Hill. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So Stu, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, no, it's got a shot down in Monmouth. Yeah. I didn't know he had a shot. Mate, Pegasus hobbies and games. He's a right flipping pest. Okay. Honestly, I, mate, I know loads of them. There's fucking. Oh, God. I mean, he's yeah. he's a mega bloke, yeah. and the shop is mega. I mean, he, he go in there, so so it's like a you know warhammer <laughs> shit, right? Yeah. But 
mate, that world is mental. You can get all sorts of stuff. Yeah. So he's got all, I mean, he was a pest and he was in anyway. Yeah. He's got all different, like, all the old war, um, soldiers and set yeah, the war yeah, all the yeah. way through. Now he set up, um, was it him did it? I think it was him. He set up, uh, it was, uh, it was Sangin, I think. It was Sangin Valley. I think it was Sangin DC. And, uh, so, so for people listening with these, these Warhammer games, the Sex Pest games, right? They'll, uh, a lot of times pretty cool. They'll, they'll get a map. So like a, a table yeah, and they'll yeah, have yeah. the terrain on there. And it will be, for example, there we go, Longdon, yeah. Mount Longdon yeah, or yeah. a famous battle. Yeah. And they will set it up. So you got one, you got different teams. You'll have like, oh, let's say the Falcons, right? Yeah. Argentinians. And if you're on the Argentinian team, you've got the exact troops, the exact positions yeah, on yeah. on the board that the Argies had. If you're the Brits, then you've got the exact troops, and it's mm. the same thing. And you go, it's it goes down to the, what weapons each person's got, the range yeah, you yeah. can attack at, how far <laughs> they've told. It's mental. So he does all that. Yeah. Anyway, so going back to the point about yeah. being careful not to cross into concentration is meditation. Okay. It can be and it can't be. And the re- here's an example. So Stu, that's yeah. his business. Uh-huh. right? So he's focusing on <clears> painting <throat> that thing. Yeah. But the reason he's doing it is down to the business. But I'm not talking about the reason why he's doing it. Okay. I'm talking about the actual action he's taking at that time. So it doesn't matter why he's doing it. If he's there and he's concentrating entirely on doing it and he's really concentrating on doing that thing that he's doing, that has the same effect as meditation because you're not thinking about there's nothing running through your head. I'm talking about those periods where he's really focused and he is just, yeah, painting and that's it. Mm. And there's nothing else going there because he's really concentrating. It's like that it has the same effect. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. If you're doing it going, fucking hell, I can't be, I've got to do this later. That's, that's different. I'm just saying, maybe a poor example. But we were talking about anything could be meditation. I understand what you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, yeah, it's because it's not about, it isn't necessarily, you get benefits from seeing your thoughts come and go and all those things, but it's about just being present in what you're doing. So, you know, if you had the, Perfect example is the tea ceremony. Have you heard of that? No. Chinese thing went to Japan. So that is, uh, there's people who are trained for years to do it, and it's an act of meditation. Is they, It's making this perfect cup of tea, and it's all very, everything has to be perfect the way they do it. Oh, you I've seen, seen it now. Yeah. I didn't know that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. So that is an me- act of meditation because you're literally just focused exactly on pour- pouring the tea. It has the same effect because you're nothing but pouring the tea at that point. Until it becomes muscle memory. No, but it's not, it's not that. It's, it's not necessarily, yeah, I know what you mean, the physical action of it, but it's. It's like riding a bike. The first I, time you ride a bike, you'd be like, fucking hell, you're yeah, meditating I, the fuck out of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and just time to ride in, you, yeah. you're on the phone. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's, it's, it's instead of, you know, sitting there yeah. and watching the thoughts or whatever, because he'll be doing it and he'll have the same thing happening in his head. Oh shit, I need to, you know, my, you know, uh, oh, I've just fucked that bit up or whatever. But he's he's focusing entirely on what he's doing, and he's trying to just become the process of doing that instead of counting his breath or something like that. Mm. If you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. So anything can be that. That's the point I'm trying to make. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So if we if we look at the point of all those things, is to make you less important. The idea of you as a person being less important than what you're doing. If you know what I mean. So if you expand that into service. So putting you, putting other people in front of you, so you undertake something to help other people. It's a, it's a, it's, it's on the same sort of wavelength, but not quite as ex- focused on yourself. Do you see what I'm saying? Each sort of wavelength is meditation. You mean? No, no, I mean, I, as in, I'm, I'm terribly explaining this. Oh, go That's why I don't. Got you. Got another half hour. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> People are turning off. Yeah, I want mate. I want to hear about the logo. Right. Yeah. Well, you know, yeah. That's what I know about Ali T. He hasn't mentioned my tattoo. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, no. okay. yeah, we'll come on to that. The, yeah, the point I'm trying to make is that service. Is, I believe service is good for you, and I think the putting yourself. I think you learn through hardship. <clears throat> I think that's good for you. Military service, you're talking about any service. Any service, okay. Just and sweeping the streets is good for you. Right, so, okay, that's all I want to establish. Got you. Got yeah, you. that's all I want to establish. Service as in uh, anything where you put yourself behind other people Got is you. good for you. Yeah. And some of the most extreme methods of doing that are people who are in the police, in the fire brigade, in the military. Like in, you know, in theory MPs, maybe not some of them. You know what I mean? That's the idea. The idea is you're putting other people, saying they're more important than what you're doing and you're going to go, right, well, I can handle this. So all you can be okay. 
if you know what I mean. And if everybody does that, then everyone is, you know, we if, all rise if, together. If, if, if it's an idea of the world, yeah. Yeah, if an idea No, yeah, bin men, yeah. postmen, I yeah. understand what you're saying. So, because I, I wouldn't say, one of the things it's actually says on the, the website, the About Us part of the City Go website, is that the, it's not a religious thing. I just think there's aspects of it that, I think, separated from religion, I think there's things that religions do that are good for you. Separated from all the, the stories, <clears throat> there's things that are good for you. And I think that um, that all has to do with putting, with service and suffering and putting yourself, uh, other people in front of yourself. So that's where the sitting is guilt thing comes into it all. Um, and yeah, we, we, I think we went down a meditation thing there purely because that's sort of how I, how I deal with myself and how I see the world. But it, it absolutely does inform some of the stuff behind Sydney is guild, I think. Mm. No, I understand the, the yeah. meditation service side of things yeah. is because in helping others, you get it, it makes you feel good, and you have that. <clears throat> I thought of this a lot last sort of five six months. Is that I don't know why uh, not <clears throat> not. it's come up a few times in me. I thought that's fucking bollocks. Yeah, the th- the idea that yeah, um, if you're doing if you're doing a good thing for someone else to benefit you, well, that's wrong. That's mm. fucking bullshit. I'll tell you why it's bullshit uh-huh. because we don't do. And then talking about humans. Yeah. We don't do anything for no reason. We do things because it benefits us. Now, at the very baseline, this is what example is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know why I hold a door open for old people? Because one, I was brought up to do that. It's a good thing to do. Yeah, yeah. And two, I feel like it's a good thing. I don't, not at the time. I feel like that's, that is what being a good person is about. Being yeah. generous. You know, uh, that's, I mean, just as yeah. an example. But you're doing what you think, if you want someone else to do that for you. So that's why you do it. If you, if not why you do it, but like... No, it makes you feel good. I, yeah, I, yeah. There's nothing wrong with feeling good off of helping someone else. Well, it's perfect example here. So <laughs> I, you're talking about the sort of cynical side of that. So during when I was out in my little six-year madness between two and one power, um, I ran an Oxfam shop for a year. Do you remember the big tsunami? There was, I think it was 2003. There was a big tsunami in Thailand, maybe? Somewhere over there. There's one of all time. Uh, it was 2004. Five, was it not? Was it five? Yeah, because we had one of the lads sure on leave was... in um, Mauritius or something like that. I'm sure there was one in three as well. Okay. I, 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 they have them all the time. Fact check me. Yeah. yeah. There was, there was anyway, there was something I saw on TV and I went, okay, fine. And we happened to be walking past the Oxfam shop that day. There was at the volunteers. So me and a couple of my mates went in and went, fuck it, um, do you want a hand? And we ended up running the place for a year. Now, the thing that stopped me... You, you know, you were a hippie. Dude, like, you were a hippie, mate. This hundred percent. You were slagging him off, Timmy. You were a hippie, hundred percent. But this, this is why. This is what I mean. This is why I'm informed <laughs> because, I, because I've been that guy. Right. Okay. I've been the uber fucking left. I was a vegetarian for like three years. Um, all the things that you, th- you think fucking hell, like a stereotype. I've been that guy, and come back. If you know what I mean. I'm not saying that the one's better than the other particular or whatever, but I I reside in the centre now because I've been both sides. And, you know, fully wholeheartedly, both sides. Yeah. So you um, walked at the Oxford Prop? Yeah, yeah, so I did that for a year. Um, but I, I, I sort of stopped in the end because I realised that I wasn't doing it. I've, I was just being a bit introspective. I thought, why am I really doing this? Am I doing this because my first thought in the morning is the starving kids in Africa? And I went, well, no, I'm not. I don't, it's not my first thought. My first thought is, I need a brew. You know what I mean? I wasn't doing it for the reason I was meant to be doing it. I was doing it purely for selfish reasons. I was like, well, I'm fucking squared. I'm, I do loads of charity stuff, mate. Because that's where my, my headspace was at the time. Because I was a, I was very sort of left and holy than now. And um, What's wrong with... What's necessarily wrong with that? Because uh, neither are wrong there. Yeah, yeah. Neither, saying, neither are, the attitude wrong. that... You, if you wake up and think of the yeah, kids yeah. of South Africa or you wake up thinking, I need a brew. Yeah. Neither is necessarily wrong if you're yeah. still there doing the good thing because it's a good thing to do. And I'm not saying it's necessarily wrong, but that's that's I realised that that's I wasn't happy that that was the only reason I okay. was doing it. Got you. So I felt a bit like a fraud. I was like, well, why am I actually? I'm giving my time to do this. And yes, there's loads of good things because the, the shop we sold loads of stuff, we made a lot of money for charity. It was mega. It was like the best period the shop had ever had because we had a laugh with it. It was good. But I realised that I was doing it for selfish reasons, purely, pretty much, and so I could be. Little, I had my little tick in the box in arguments because I, ah, I was a dick at the time. I was like, I yeah, well, see. I fucking run shop, shop, mate. I see. You know what I mean? Because I was that. The sort of person that I'm like, I want to punch now because they're a dick. Yeah. I was that person. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I've got, but I'm not, I'm, but I'm not homophobic. I've got gay friends. 
You can't. You can't I'm, I'm, I've got gay friends. You know what I mean? Yeah, a similar sort of thing. Well, no, it's not. Yeah, it's yeah not, I, I, know, I, know, I know what you're yeah. saying. Yeah, I know yeah. what you're saying. Yeah, so, um, yeah, that's why I was doing it. Because I, and I realised that it, it was very easy to be that person Yeah. where you can always, if you're that far that way, and through the, the extreme side of it, it's very easy to be in the right all the time. Because you don't, you, all you have to do is criticise. You don't have to um, come up with an answer for any of these big problems. You don't live in the difficult world. You live in the easy world where everything should be nice and everyone should be nice to each other. If you know what I mean, that's got a bit... Well, no, but this is it, mate. You come, on, you come on to the topic here, mate, which is mental at the moment. Mate, know, mate. Mental at the moment. Yeah. It is flipping mental. We're talking about all the things... When I was driving down here, I was like, okay, so... Let's not talk about this. Let's not talk about Why this. Why not? Let's try to give it's pity it all, mate. Oh no, fucking hell! We, but what you're talking about there? Well, yeah. we can, well, you know, is is the is the um um like the out, the outrage the outrage culture? And, yeah, 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 and and oh god, we could go down the fucking rabbit hole here. Could get bad. Everyone needs to be treated the same. Everyone's got blah 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 blah. blah. Yeah. It's not. That's not the real world. No, so I'm a re- I'm a realist, and I I mean, it's all informed by the same sort of. That's how I see the world. I'm a realist. Um, yeah. You know, I don't. Th- I don't. There's no point in wishing things were another way. I mean, let's. It'd be great if we didn't have to go to war. It'd be fucking alley. I think it'd be boring, but it'd be great. Everyone would have nice long lives, and everyone would have the perfect little life that they want. But that's not the world we live in. It's never going to be like that. It never will be. No, it never uh, will be. It's not. It shouldn't be like that. You need both sides. In yeah, no, it, it never will. Be. It's it's unfortunate. I mean, yeah. I, I, you just remind me of. Um, have you heard of Veterans for Peace? Yeah, I've watched. I watched Ben the other day. Right. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, Ben's come back on because we never got oh, into yeah. Veterans for Peace. Yeah. Then he's come back on to talk about it. Um, and this might be someone else coming home there, but hmm. I was thinking through that, and ugh, I wasn't thinking through it like I'm some fucking uh, academic. I wasn't. I like I gave it about five seconds of thought, and I thought, <laughs> I thought squared. No, I just asked, <laughs> fix that problem. <laughs> Come on, hour and a half of veterans apiece, nailed it. Yeah. Five seconds of thought. Um, but I, but uh, it's. Uh, it, it, I mean, they campaign for a peaceful world, and uh-huh. as a lot of organisations do, and it's yeah. that. That uh, what's the word? That 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 the delusions of grandeur. Where yeah, yeah, we, we want peace. Mm-hmm. Is it square away? We shouldn't have a military. We should yeah, blah, yeah, blah, yeah. Blah, right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, yeah. Human nature yeah. disagrees with you. <laughs> should we should prove you wrong? Yeah. Because if we were to, it one hundred percent. If we were to flip in somehow go right next week, everyone squared away. We all got we all got the same food. Yeah. We all got the same money. Someone would find a reason to get pissed off with someone else, and we got right back up to where we are now. Yeah, we got we could we could devolve ourselves. Yeah. back to tribes, not even tribes. People living in different houses, and that's it. We would end up in two thousand years' time, right where we are now. Yeah, because it's human nature. Yeah, not going to get rid of war because we scrap. We're yeah. not nice people. That's it. That's, <laughs> that's, that's absolutely true. Nice I, I agree entirely. Yeah, but yeah. that's that's where. And, and if you and if you if you sorry, and yeah. if you don't, if you think okay, well. Well, let's not just have a military. We get around that. Well, guess what? You cease to exist. You yeah. cease to exist. Yeah, it, it's it's it's, it's a, get wiped out. Yeah, it's a, it's an inconvenient truth that there are turds, and you know, or there are people who think that you're a turd, and will come and just you know hit you. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That, that's 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 the world. Um, yeah, it's. If, I think I agree exactly with what you just said there. That you would. We are those sort. Of, we're animals at the end of the day. We're very clever animals, and that's that's how we work. You know, we could be all back to square one, and at the end of the day, I'll, there'll be a guy born who'll go oh, pick up a stick and he'll take your food off you. You know what I mean? And that that's just how we are. So yeah, I think you've got to be a realist. I like. I'd love it to be. It'd be great like that, but there's no point going down that road with any sort of. We're making the best of it as we are now if you know what I mean. And it's terrible. And it's, you know, it's the world is a mess, but it's messy because that's the best we can do. If you know what I mean? Mm. It's not a tidy process. You know, there's a, we'd all, it'd be great if everyone was a good guy and it'd be great if everyone was singing off the same song sheet, but it'd be fucking boring. And, uh, <laughs> well, it would is it, don't, well, it, it, I'm sure he's stolen a lyric, but it, my mate wrote a song once, and one of the lyrics was "Heaven would be hell." Who? who? Just one of my mates. Oh, he wrote. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Heaven, yeah. heaven would be hell. Think about heaven. The idea of heaven. 
Yeah. Fucking boring. No, I, yeah. See what I mean? Yeah. It's, yeah, it's... Um, I mean, yeah. I, I, what, I mean, look, you, you can. You, there's an argument for a non interventionist approach. The problem with that is, look, I would be 100% up for that mm-hmm. if you can get every. Well, no, I wouldn't. I'm going to go back the way. Right? Okay. I could potentially be 100% up for that and go. And all the world, all the countries in all the world go, yeah. right. And they all, all of a sudden, have some sense and go, right, yeah. fucking stop where we are. Yeah. Stop. Let's reset the clock. This is where we are now. Our yeah. borders are what they are now. This is where we are. People who live in this country, fine. That's it. This is where we are in the world now. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. All right? You can keep your military just for your own, um, uh, uh, what's the word? Own reassurance. Yeah, warm fuzzy. But no one attacks each other. Mm-hmm. Deal? China goes, yeah. Everyone goes, yeah, yeah. cool. Deal. non interventionist yeah. approach. Yeah. There'd be a fucking war, mate. Exactly. <laughs> they wouldn't. They wouldn't. Because, they wouldn't. Yeah, Cause, because cause oil would run out, or a commodity would run out, or Africa would go, hang on a minute, we're in shit state here because we can't go anything in half our country. Yeah. And you can in UK or Europe. Yeah. We, we need more. We need more. Give it. And then, yeah. and then so Europe would go, or Europe, or some country would go, yeah, right, let's give Africa more food yeah. because they need it because they can't grow as much. There's loads of people there. Cool. Then guess what? The people in Europe would get pissed off and they yeah. go, whoa, 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 whoa. And then you've got an uprising and you've got fucking war. And then we're back here. Mate. Right. That's it. We're doing the best we can. <laughs> it's, it, you know what I mean? We're, we're, just, we're doing the best we can. Yeah. You know. Um, fucking hell. Mate, we've just fixed the world like three times. I know, I know. Three times. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Tell me about the podcast. Hmm. The podcast is... It's, I don't know. There's nothing crazy about the podcast. It's literally just another method of me. I, I want to put people exactly like you are i want to put people who i think are worth listening to in front of people who maybe need to hear them and that's it there's no like i mean i've already done you've done fucking loads i have to be fair dude you've done mega the some of the people some of the people we've had on i know i've taken a taking a step down today mate what can you do we've gone back to the reg haven't we (laughs) got got a filler bit of filler yeah um yeah but seriously some of the people we have on it's it's oh, mega, geez, um, but yeah, I, I I literally just want to have a chat with people I rate, and that's it really. And I'll just film it. I'm not trying to achieve well, the intention being what the intention. No being real what? intention, just of it. I think the more you're talking about, okay, Swan syndrome. Oh, ah, yeah, okay, yeah. So just... I think we generally humans do this thing where we think everybody else is squared or is, has got it more worked out than we have. I think that's bollocks. I think everybody looks to somebody. Everyone criticises themselves and everybody looks to somebody to go, well, you know, well, maybe that's maybe they've got the answer. That's a natural thing to do. Um, I'm not saying it's a good thing to do. It's not. But it's, I think it's a natural thing to do and we all do it. It's going to work out if I do that. Go on. Well, do you, you must have people... I'm just who, thinking, yeah. Yeah, you must have people... Oh, I look up to, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's, that's, that's sort of what I'm saying. And I think... The more people we can, who are potentially, if you get a respected person that everybody looks up to maybe, as an example, not saying I've had those people on yet, but people who, yeah, people say, oh, there's a respected person, they seem to have got together. And you get them to talk about, well, actually, no, I'm fucking, I mean, turmoil. I look like everything's fine, hence the swan syndrome thing. On the surface, everything seems fine. But internally, I'm in a world of hurt, or I have these dramas and I struggle. So... An example of that would be Justin the other day. So obviously Justin, if people haven't seen the podcast, is it? What's the name of it? You Are Your Actions. There you go, mate. Go on. So the You Are Your Actions podcast, it's on YouTube. Um, I had a guy on called Justin Davis the other day. Second battalion of rifles, <clears throat> I think it was 2011. Uh, steps on ID, lost both his legs. Um, all the obvious dramas since then, trying to recover. However, he is he comes across when you meet him as... Well, he is nails, but he comes across as like, how is this guy not? You know, he's he's really fine. He's absolutely fine. He look he doesn't like he's having any drums at all. But when he talks on the podcast, it gets about halfway in where he's he's talking about being uber positive and the way he sees the world, and he does see the world in a very black and white positive way. It's 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 good the way he sees the world. And I, I say to him on the podcast, like, dude, you're coming across as like a Superman here because that's how he appears, and it, that he then opens up a bit and he starts talking about no, dude. I mean, I can't walk 50 metres, I'm in fucking agony. You know, I have all these dramas. When we humanise people like that, if people are willing to open up and go, yeah, I'll fucking... and, and humanise themselves in front of people 
and not be worried about what people think of them and just be honest. Everybody gains from that. Hundred percent. One one of the things <clears throat> we were talking about. Um, uh, probably, I maybe not so much as what you did because you were you're already a hippie beforehand. <laughs> 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 I'm much more, in terms of that awareness of that that mental awareness. Much yeah. more out of the game than I am. Um, but it's one of the things when I started this is that um, is that the main thing was speak to people like you and other people, yeah. and I want people to have hear those conversations. Yeah. And like we're talking, look up to someone who sees a role model yeah. and have that role model be humanised, not from a five or ten minute spiel or what mm-hmm. they knew of them, but to know, because I knew I'd have people on that would have dramas. Yeah, yeah. I knew that I, even though I wasn't willing to start even beforehand, yeah. I said to myself, it was almost like, a, um, if I do this, I've got to be honest. And in the back of my head, I thought, okay, I won't like plan to bring like my own experience up. Yeah. But I knew that it would come up. And, but I also knew, though, is that there was no, without this podcast, there was no way I would, I would ever bring it up in a general form. Mm-hmm. I'd started speaking to, like, different mates about it, yeah, yeah, knew yeah. some of the stuff had gone on. But I thought, well, let's take the leap of faith, because why the fuck not? Yeah. Because there are people that looked up to me, not that I was a ninja, but there are, like, the people look up to yeah, you, like, yeah, there yeah. are people that have ever, people look up to them, right? Yeah. So fuck it. Let's do it. That's let's the thing. My, my experience of watching your podcast, that's exactly, I could, I sort of saw that quite early on, that you could see that happening, because <clears> you do talk, you, you, switch things to your experience quite often it's not a bad thing because it, it ha- you have a better conversation and you can see that happening when you're talking is you churning over in your head what the person's just said to you and how it relates to you and it, it, I think it's a positive aspect of the podcast mm. from my point of view anyway um, and I, it's interesting that what I thought you were doing you've just sort of said that is what you're doing if you know what I mean right, okay. so that's from my personal <laughs> perspective anyway. and you've robbed the idea yeah <laughs> If I did yours, mate, I'll tell you exactly. I'll tell you exactly. Do it, mate. No, Everyone no, no, should no. do it. I do agree with that. I yeah. 100% agree with that. I'll tell you exactly why the podcast really started. Okay, so um, there's a group of companies that I sort of hang around with, if you know what I mean, <clears> as I talk a lot or associate myself with. And I'm really, I'm super protective of who I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm an absolute knobhead about it, about who I associate Sinners Guild with. Um, and some of the companies that I do associate with are from a similar background than I ha- I am, as in when they were serving. I mean, you're not really meant to be on TV and shit like that if you're serving anyway, are you? But certainly some of these people can't show their faces and all the, on that sort of, you know, stuff. So when I took the leap of faith and said, fuck it, I'm getting out to do this, I'm sort of, I didn't really have a choice. What do you mean getting out to do it? What, leaving? The military. Yeah. Leaving to do what? To this. You left to do this? Yes. Sinita's Guild? I do didn't you know, know that. Do you know, well, that's good. Do you know why you don't know that? Because we haven't talked about Sinita's Guild. We've talked about sorting the world out. <laughs> <laughs> Sinita's Guild is more that's important. My, no, 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 dude. So the world's more important. <laughs> um, yeah, so the re- basically what happened there yeah. was they said, okay, dickhead, um, well, we haven't got a public face. There's no public face of, the, or of these little group. Who these said companies. This? So the other companies I hang around with. Oh, so, sorry. Yeah. yeah um, Partner I'm, companies, right? Kind of, yeah. yeah. We're just... I don't know, we talk offline. HR4K. HR4K, Cotter Coffee, um, Stoke Conditioning, a few others. So we have a little chat net and we sort of try and screw the nut for each other and bounce, basically just have like a, a warm fuzzy, you know, am I being a dickhead here or whatever? Because we trust each other and we're from a similar background. Um, so they, I basically got dicked. It's like, well, you're out now. We need a public face. That's going to be you. And I was just like, is it? Because I didn't want to do it. Because I'm not like, I don't know, I'm not introverted, but I'm not like super outgoing guy. I certainly didn't like the idea of like have been in pictures and being on podcasts and all that shit. That's not really me. This I'm completely out of my comfort zone doing all this stuff. Um, but yeah, I sort of got dick to do it. So that's why. So that's why we tend to do it at HR4K because <clears> it promotes ben, uh, Ben's place. Um, and yeah, so that that's why the podcast really happened. And I'm just trying to find a way of doing it that is interesting. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's just yeah. like an offshoot. Like this is your thing. You know what I mean? And they all, you're like doing it properly, whereas I've got the brand that I'm trying to do properly, and we have a podcast on the side. Yeah, you know but, the, I mean? but 
it's very it's it's very similar in terms of uh, the style of it, the chat, where you're going with it, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. mate. I, I, I like fuck it, mate. Can you imagine? Like, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm fucking not bothered by it. It's, it's, it's on the it's ball. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't give a fuck anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, there's a. I was thinking about something yesterday. There's a. You, you obviously got this like, veterans issues going on. There's a massive stink. Yes. Well, the seat appears to be a massive stink being kicked up. With uh, veterans, mental health, veterans affairs, okay. care of veterans, support yep. veterans after they leave. Now, I, I say appearing to because we're in those circles where mm-hmm. it would appear to be a fucking epidemic. Whereas, really, if you're a safe part, they might not have any idea. We don't yeah. know, right? Yeah. Um, and one of the one of the things to talk about is you know we need to uh, no, we need to sort out the structure at the top in government and support of veterans and get an organisation all this that and the other. But there's uh, there's another part than the bottom. You, you, it's not just a top down approach. There has to be a not. There has to be an involvement, uh, evol- evolvement, fucking evolvement. Mm. There has to be an evolution yeah. of our, when I say our, I mean military personnel mm-hmm. serving or not, right? Yeah. That's the evolution of how we engage with each other and how we stay engaged with each other. And I mean, that can be for any, whatever reason, any, anything, mm-hmm. and, and distribution, distribution of information. Fucking, we need an age of communication, right? Yeah. And we are really shit at communicating next military mm-hmm. are. We just are. Yeah. We just are, right? And we're really shit at ab- admission of things where it could be perceived as be as a weakness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because yeah. it's sort of background, right? Can you imagine? It just popped in my head, mate. Well, like one of the things is regimental associations. Okay. Right? So get amongst it. You know, re engage with the blogs. I started yeah. doing it with a couple of the branches in with the Power Edge one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mate. It's fucking, they're, the young blokes come out the fucking woodwork. As soon as you hear that, these younger lads getting involved, because the old boys are the old boys, and yeah, they're just yeah, the way yeah. they do it. They love it. Can you imagine, mate, if every unit, just an example, if every unit, was someone in every single unit in the UK got out, and it was someone in that unit, and they started up a fucking podcast, like yeah. you've done, like yeah, I've done, yeah, yeah. exactly the same kind of thing, mm-hmm. but that's a whole unit who would hear about it, start, yeah. and it would have an impact on those, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. on those people, in the same way that you would, in the same way that I'm doing. Yeah. Imagine that happened. And all those and all those mini podcasts going on, and how much like those stigmas, those things, be bro- those barriers would yeah. start to be broken down. People get more information. They'd know more about supports out there. They'd understand more about getting on with life and mm-hmm. and being better at being a civvy. <laughs> yeah, but that's, yeah, that's, it's a it's a massive one. Like where I sort of stand on that, I think we go two ways. Well, maybe three sort of ways. So I think the guys, I know, I don't think, I think when you get out. <laughs> You should get out, as in, you don't want to be one of those guys who is still too attached to it. You don't you, you don't want to be either side of the extreme. So you don't want to be a guy that's too attached to it, because that doesn't work. Because then you, it's very difficult for you to um, work properly in civilian you know, society, if you know what I mean. And you also don't want to be one of the guys who has nothing to do with the military anymore, because then you, you lose that old friendship group and support group you need to be somewhere in the middle you need a bit of both i think there's a i think guys go one of two ways and i think people who go too far this way as in basically like you know you know the guy who reds guys they leave and they become more airborne than airborne you know those guys and all they talk about is the military uh they it's very difficult for the civilian community to interact with him because he's not interested in he's looking backwards instead of looking about where he is now he's the you need that balance there because we all know that once well once you leave it doesn't mean an awful lot in the civilian world that's not a good thing but that's through lack of understanding you've got to have that two-way street there because otherwise civilians just go what whatever the other way do you see what i'm i, I do at? i do i do see what you mean um <clears throat> But I think across that spectrum of you get out and and like you're nothing to do with the military anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. To getting out and being flipping neck, you know, cutting about in AKUs. Yeah. <laughs> I've got one today, but it's yeah. No, I, I've, <laughs> no, but you I'm know, and, 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 <laughs> not, you're knocking yeah. about in your unit t-shirt. And, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Fucking yeah. Yeah. Um. I understand what you mean, but then I, I think um. Depending on who you are, mm-hmm. what kind of person you are, okay. and what kind of background you came from, yeah. and just depending on the whole aspect of your past, yeah, yeah, yeah. regardless of what it is, depends on where you're going to sit, what, what is suitable for you in that spectrum of okay. complete civ pop to flipping mental veteran who no one wants to speak down in the pub because all he talks about is war and, yeah. um, and, uh, 
yeah. Cor- Corbyn's a wanker and all. I'll, you know, go, I'll go with that. Yeah? I'll go with that. Right. So yeah. That, so but, yes. The, it's I, like Everton's respect. The, the ideal it? thing is yeah. that that balance in the middle. Yeah. That real, you know, that uh, that knowledge of um, uh, the the benefits of you know being more civilian oriented. Yeah. There are benefits there. Mm-hmm. That doesn't mean you lose your military ties. You got you got to yeah, like you said. Happy, I'm just repeating what you said. Happy medium. Yeah. Happy medium. Because it's. I mean, I'm. I think. <clears throat> I don't know. I think there's, there's a, too many of the stories that I hear anyway. Are all you know, if like civilians are talking about the military, I hate this sort of oh, well done, you served, pat on the head thing. You know, you're a hero, nice one. There's some civilians get into, or some. I don't. Know, it tends to be the media that do it more than ever. It's I. The what I seem to see from the media. And this might just be me. It might be completely wrong. Is this idea of oh he's done well because he was successful despite the fact that they don't say that but it's it's phrased in like a or it's you know um, yeah he's successful despite the fact that he was a veteran and he's he's been to war he's done this stuff and hasn't he done well because he's he's a success I would turn that on the head I would say well actually the reason Spurs is successful I would say is because of us things he's learnt while he was in the military and the way he looks at things you know what I mean there's the I'm not someone who thinks positive all the time and we should be pushing positivity all the time. I don't think that. But I think that is it. We learn, we are, we're taught and we learn and we deal with problems a certain way in the military, which I think is a good thing. And I think if we bring that to the civilian world, providing we speak the language of the civilian world, because it is just language, um, you, you set yourself up for success over some civilians if you know what i mean yeah absolutely it's not and it's not it's not it's not this isn't you know for civ pop listening it's not that um or watching it's not that uh we're any better than them or they're any better than us no we have different experiences same as they do and what you don't want in any organization regardless what your aim is the worst thing you can have is uniformity across the board everyone with the same background it's a nightmare you want diversity yeah and you want conflict yeah to a certain level yeah 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 you you want about you know otherwise there's no growth. It's, not, it's just going stale. Exactly. Mate, we've got about three minutes left. Really? Yes. Jesus Christ. I know. Oh, well. <laughs> got, got, th- got three minutes. Well, <laughs> Dude. <laughs> As boring as having a chat. What, um, what, uh, what else is, uh, what are you laughing at? <laughs> Flies by, doesn't it? Yeah. Flies by, you're fixing the world. Oh, um, okay. what is next on the horizon of the Sinita's Guild? Um, trying to build the community aspect, aspect of it more. Um, how do you how do you do that? Uh, well, things in the works. Well, to be honest, the community builds itself. The community builds itself. I, I've it, that's what has happened previously. The tattoos, mate. We didn't yeah, mention no, tattoos. We didn't mention it. People are getting tied up with the Sunni. That yeah. is fucking. But that's that's a huge responsibility. That the first time somebody got that done, I was like, right, you can't fuck this up. This is a this means something to people. You can't fuck it up. And it wasn't intended like that's that. A good point. Yeah. I pulled it out of my ass. You know what I mean? Yeah. It wasn't meant to be something that I lived on. It was meant to be a little bit of pocket money and um, try and give something people to stand behind a little bit. But it wasn't meant to be what it's turned into. It's mega though, isn't it? I just realised yeah, people are getting tattoos on their bodies yeah. of the logo that you drew. Yeah, it's crazy. That is mega. It's mental. But it, it, Rather you than me. Rather that responsibility on you than me. But I don't know. You've got to suck it up, haven't you? Don't turn out to be a kiddie fiddler or anything. No, nah, but this, 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 dude, this, is, this is the thing. That's why I try. <laughs> Sydney's Girl is entirely ethos based. It's entire, it, Yes, it's got a cool logo, but it's all about the ethos. And as soon as I fuck up the ethos somehow, no. it's you gone. You yeah, won't, but, mate. But that's you what won't. I'm saying. It's like, but even if it did, just redeem yourself and just go through it. It's a life lesson. You know. Yeah. But we are, we are, so far, we're doing all right, I think. But um, yeah, I, t- I try and not be a dick myself. I try and live it myself. Otherwise, it does. I don't think it really means anything. I mean, integrity is a huge thing. Like everyone's a dick, but if you have if you're a dick with integrity, <laughs> yeah. you, know I mean? you can only do your best, can't you? Are you going to be at the HR four K event in June? June twelfth. Um, is it yes. June twelfth? June sixth. I think it's the eighth. June eighth. June eighth. Yeah. There. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be there. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, that's that, that be good. There you go. Good little plug. HR four K has got a uh what is it? It's a business uh business yeah. networking event, isn't it? Pretty much. So it's it's like we do open days, we've <clears> invited <throat> all veteran owned businesses to come along. You get in touch with HR four K. If you wanna if you wanna come down, get in touch, he'll give you a pitch and you turn up and you sell your wares and we'll all have a chat and get to know each other. The pitch is free, it's three metres by three metres, it's outside, yeah, yeah. you provide your own power and internet if we need it. Mate, I got it nailed, yeah. Squared. If civvies want to turn uh, no, civvies, if visitors want to turn up, it's free. No, anyone can come. It, no, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a completely open thing. 
Well, I'm going long. Um, Team Rubicon have got a stand there. I'm having a meet with him next week. Uh, Who? Next month. They see you. Richard. Rich, yeah. Mega bloke. Yeah. Mega bloke. Mate. Yeah. S- slate him. He loves it. Really? Yeah, yeah. He's a good lad. He's a good lad. Uh, what am I going to see? I can't remember see him next. That's yeah. good lad, yeah. Uh, that's it. Sinita's Guild uh, website. Uh, www.sinita'sguild.co.uk or .com. Yeah. That's pretty much it. I mean, just get in. If, if you want anything explaining further about anything I've said, get in touch. It's No, they can wait. Then you come on the podcast next, mate. Okay, I'll do the podcast. I'll go on yours. Do, that's a perfect idea. <laughs> we'll just continue. We'll just keep going until um, we actually talk about stuff. Get on Michael Coates' podcast, Declassified. Okay. Have you heard of it? No, I've, I have no, I have heard of it. I've just not been on We'll talk offline. Roger. Mega. Well, I enjoyed it. Cheers, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, Baz. Baz has loved it. He loved, he loved this. He loved that one, didn't you? He fucking knew he was. Jesus Christ.